Hey, what's up, tangerines? Today I'll be showing you how to make this jiggly, water, watery slime. It's kind of sticky, but, you know, it jiggles. It, it kind of feels like jello if you put a lot of, if you make it with clear glue. So, yeah. Let's get straight on to this video. You will be needing a bowl that you have not ate, that you are not going to eat food in because it's toxic. Some water. This is like the key ingredient. Any working slime activator. I'm using borax and water. You can use like contact solution or baking soda or whatever you want. A popsicle stick to mix with or a spoon that you don't use for eating. And some glue. I got this one from like just the store. And usually if it says non-toxic, uh, yeah, non-toxic, it's usually gonna work to like make your slime. So you wanna get your bowl. And food coloring is optional, but I'm not using it. And just pour however much glue you want. So I'm just gonna pour. I'm just gonna pour a little bit because it gets pretty big after you add water. And after I realized that I had too much water, so I put more, more glue. Here I'm adding a cap full of water, but as I said, that was too much. And I added a little more, I have no idea why. Probably looked not jiggly, jiggly enough, but I started mixing it like a normal human being would do. And I think after this, I, I'm pretty sure I put more white glue. Yep, right here. So if you're wondering what types of white glue you can use, well, I figured out that you can use Get. I'm not sure if America has that brand, but sure, here in Canada we have that brand. Elmer's glue, and just any UHU, I think you can use that. Just any PVA glue, and PVA glue is usually school glue. So I'm just gonna add the borax mixture slowly, and mix. So I'll be back when I'm done mixing. So once it starts cleaning your bowl, you wanna just add a little bit more borax mixture or your slime activator once, once like it's not sticky. So you can see me adding that. And once it like doesn't stick to the bowl at all. You're done, you can just take it out off the popsicle stick and touch it with your hands. As you can see, I just started kneading it over there. I tried poking it, but it was too sticky, as you can see. So, after I added more borax mixture, see, it's very sticky. Sometimes Usually when you make slime at first, it's really sticky, obviously. And then you need to put more borax mixture. I'm sorry if I'm being too, like, quiet. So my favorite way to put borax in is just poke a little hole. Oops, I got stuck. Poke a little hole. And then put the borax mixture inside. I actually think that I didn't add borax right now. Yeah, I didn't add borax. I'm sorry about that. But, it's pretty much done. So, yeah. So, I just mixed it both, mixed it, what am I saying? Mixed both of my slimes together, because they're the same slime. And during this recording, I realized that this obviously was not big enough. This container was obviously not big enough to put all the jiggly slime. 
so I resorted to the plastic containers that stack on top of each other, but they didn't fit either. So then I just took them off. And just left it to dry, I guess. And I don't want any. Oh, kids in Africa could have played with that. I mean, I get it with food, but I don't get it with slime. Thanks for watching this video, and remember to subscribe to be a tangerine.